Hello everyone, welcome to Dan Desktop Support. Um, this lecture, okay, first of all, if someone is signing into this video and this is your first time, this lecture is about, um, this lecture is a part of Help Desk Support Specialist Free Training and Guide. And today I'm going to be uh, talking about ticketing system. Uh, so if you are looking into this, all these lectures, I would say this is a very important lecture for you because all of the companies these days are using some kind of ticketing system and it depends on the company they can be using very high tech or they can be using something very normal just a user portal and an admin portal or admin software whatever you send a ticket and admin just assign it uh, to somebody or uh, you support help the support so if you're in a help the support and you are um, looking to get in this is one of the tools that you really need to learn because you will be using it all the time I would say every time you get a call every time you get an email every time you do something you have to put it in the system for our managers to first of all to prove your work that uh, this is what you did the whole day you weren't just sitting around and if you were sitting around and you uh, you are doing some kind of training that you don't have any tickets to solve you can also put that that I was um, you know this from this time to that time um, training for IT it just gives your managers and your your directors or whoever is in charge of you a, a sense of that you are working and uh, things are going great okay moving on um, to ab to be able to show um, everyone in a like a real time examples uh, we will be using uh, Spiceworks. Uh, to me, I think this is one of the best um, system that I think of F to show for my videos, just to show uh, students or anyone that is learning ticketing system. Um, Spiceworks portal. Probably that will uh, help this software. Okay, click on this one. All right. So you can come down here and the way I just went there, you can learn about what ticketing system is. It basically creates a ticket on the portal or the w uh, in the beginning when you go and start working, you are not going to be making portals or you're not going to be making all the server installations and to make the, this thing work. You will just go there and everything will be done for you all you have to do is take a ticket and assign it to someone or assign it to yourself for the job that you're going to be doing so basically you can come out here and learn about this stuff right here and this is like it this little uh eight pages can tell you everything that you need to learn from a point that what is ticketing system and this is this will tell you exactly what it is so I already did the installation so and I'm gonna be uh, the, the way I did it because I want to keep it real and to the job level that you're gonna be working on so basically what you need to do is I'm gonna sign into my portal system the one that I just created mm, password is this alright so What's gonna happen is this is gonna be your user view. Like this is what user will see in on your job. It'll say your job company name will be here, and then some other stuff, or maybe some other name here, anything. Uh, they'll log into the, their system. If though, if you set it up from Active Directory, they might be automatically just uh, logging into the system. Once they log log into the computers, they might just automatically log into the system. Uh, or you might be using some other extra or different login that depends on your admins and this is not something that you need to be doing so there it's nothing to do here so if it's running this is your admins or networking people or server administrators job to make sure this stuff is running all right so what's going to happen uh, a user will come to if they have a problem a user will just come click on their link that you guys provided they'll come and say hey I got a problem please install flash I am 
getting error okay and if they have a snapshot of an error they'll just come and send it to you guys all right so this is how the user will send their request if they have a problem if this sh and so what's going to happen they'll they'll get this message ticket number five uh hey i got a problem the timing and everything uh, it's this is sent to your your system whatever system that you're using it will be sent to you so the IT administrator has been notified okay so what you need to do is uh this right here the ticketing where where when they send the ticket you will get it somewhere and in spicework this is where you will get the ticket so for example i just created a ticket right here i got a problem and this was a user when i come and i'll see this in my system that hey okay i got someone that have a problem right now and what i will do is a tech or as a support person i'll accept it and now it's assigned you can see it is assigned to me danny khan okay now if you think this is not your ticket or uh, this is this needs to be assigned to someone else then you're basically what it depends on what system are you using in 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 this system you can i never use it here but uh you can come here and you see that i clicked on added and here you can provide more information like you know description due date or anything category so you can say like okay this is end user support maintenance and you can assign it to different groups so what well what will happen is that right now you see assigned to in your department or your work area you will see a lot of it so you will see like network engineering you'll see like a uh, desktop engineering you'll see um internet web administrators web development team programmers or all that kind of stuff that would be already categorized for you so all you have to do is if you if it's your problem and uh, looks like if there's a for example this problem a flash it will be you your network minister will not install flash for them so you will be the person if you're a support person you will be doing this stuff and uh like little softwares updates and all that stuff um sometimes they just push it through or free administrators trying to push it from if it's like a mass deployment let's say 600 computers needs to be updated their flash needs to be updated then your admin just push it out using different tools uh active directory one of the most i mean a lot of people use it so or different softwares but you will just take this like for example this only one person have a problem with flash you will assign it to yourself and you'll just save it and then let's say i already um updated your system please restart your ie okay so you click update and now let's say a user you want to give a user a little time and let the ticket open or you can close it yourself let's say you, you have done your work all you have to do is come back here and close this ticket so this ticket is closed you're gonna go to your now user comes in tomorrow and they want to check the result so they just refresh their browser and or they just come back here and click on their ticket so right here what happened is like please install i'm getting this and then my comments are right here ticket all right i already updated the system please restart your ie and it shows that it's closed but uh, let's say if you think that it's not a user might think that no it's not still i'm still having the problem they will reopen it again and then you will get the message again that right here and i'll just uh refresh here and then you see that where it is go uh, should be here but uh yeah okay i'm not sure because i'm not really used to this but it should come back here again and uh let me see on the center tickets open tickets yeah okay so if you go back to open tickets it will see that again that it got reopened then you need to work on it and solve it but just to show you that this is one of the things that ticketing does it just keeps the the record and keeps everything um organized so people are not basically emailing you in your personal email 
that hey I got this problem solve it and let's say if you're working in a team environment so this stuff will be a must for you because if someone have a problem they send it to the help us and what what happened is let's say if you're working on one problem and there's another technician he's available he'll take the ticket and assign it to himself if there's no one out there what happens that ticket stays in the e that 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 system and whoever gets the chance they'll go and fix it they'll assign it to themselves or the another team so this is why i say this is very important for you guys to learn and to test your um come come over here install spikes works and set it up and start playing around with it tell your family members that do not email me uh if i have a problem if you guys have a problem send me a ticket through this portal right here which is so you can make your own portal for your company your family my family my home portal my system so everyone just goes in there i got a problem hey fix it can you fix my computer and then you come down to your um um system right here and you see okay i see this problem and you just assign it to yourself and then fix the problem and then say close the ticket and tells you the time and everything but it tells you see how he it has a category of high medium low so if they want to make it high they'll make it high they, this is very urgent low is something that you respond to it after if you have something like high or medium you try to solve these then low now a good trick is that if you have uh, problems that um uh, people are sending that you think that it's really easy to solve then i would solve those problems first tr when try to getting into the bigger problems because you never know how much time you're going to get to the to the problems that you don't know how to solve and these problems like flash and stuff like that you want to get rid of it so then users can do their work and not get pissed at you just because it's a small problem you can solve it why not you should get it over other other uh, tip will be when you try to solve a problem you don't know always go and search about it okay you can always come to the spice works community and there's so many it people in here you can let's say if i have a problem i'll just go to google pretty quick right now let's say google spice works community and then here you click on that this like right here community and just come over here and drop your question someone will answer it and if you that's if you don't know you can do google search and everything but always be prepared like you know try to get some information with you when you're trying to solve a problem that you don't know it it looks good and it you don't want to spend you don't want to spend 40 minutes on a problem and then come tell a user that oh let me go and search it uh that it will look really bad and you will piss someone off and that's not going to look good on your side too because you will get some you will get some problems from your manager that when they call people that hey Uh, people will talk calling them that uh oh, you just wasted time you couldn't fix it and stuff like that i mean so it's better for you to do a little search or research about problems and then try to go and fix it or you can ask your members one of the best thing you can do is if you're working in a team environment always always ask if you don't know because other technician or other tech might already solve that problem and you they he will save 2 3 hours or i don't know how many how much time he will save you but it's always good to know so but this was a lecture on a ticketing system this is how ticketing work user um send a ticket you get to assign it to yourself or other group or uh, anyone that is responsible in IT uh other if you don't want to install spikes works and you think installation and you, you don't feel like going through all the server installation and portal everything what you need to do is go to google and i'll say go to manage engine help us okay so when you click on manage engine help us you click on this help us software and you click on demo okay online demo and here is another way if you want to test out your your you want to learn about ticketing system uh you can log in as a requester and here you can see you can request things like uh submit a new incident you can click on it and here your it, it automatically give you a name guest 
job title uh, hmm, should I put a job title student what? okay I can't put a job title in there I don't know why all right so I got a problem got a problem subject printer all right so stuff here you can I mean do this on basically this is a user requested something to you and guest so right here a ticket is assigned in and this is something that is online demo so it won't stay there it depends on how much time they give to the uh, to delete this problem so um, that's why I use I would say Spikesworks is your best option here but if you don't want to do installations you can come back here and uh, test on this stuff I mean it just gives you a different different look for ticketing uh, most of the ticketing systems have the same um, features you you get a ticket you assign it you get a ticket you assign it and you solve it and you close it and that's it you don't do reportings you don't do anything else if you're working as a support or desktop support or any entry-level IT you're not doing any other stuff than that um, you know reporting is your manager's job um, to make sure the portal is up and running that's your server engineers or network engineers job and so you're not worried about that so all you is worried about is who to assign um, the ticket to the right people and that's something you have to learn by time so if you are new to the company nobody's expecting you to be uh, to be right all the time that no one's gonna tell you that oh, this is not my ticket uh, don't assign it to me so it's not gonna happen you uh, will learn uh, with time and that stuff you don't need to worry about all you need to wor worry about is to make sure your skills are good you're learning more and uh, you're practicing more and you know, you know how to use this system that's it uh, this is it for ticketing there's nothing else to talk about on ticketing now um, hope you learned something from this video and hope this will help you um, when you go to work and you will not get surprised that what is this I mean I haven't, I haven't, I haven't learned about this stuff so there, there you go you got it now alright thank you, thank you for watching and uh, I'll close my video here